contract with the minimum guarantee national rural employment guarantee scheme completed 10 years the nda government claimed it has brought a transformation in the rural job guarantee scheme which was in a pitiable state under the upa on the back of frequent curtailing of funds today the nda government found itself at the receiving end of the Supreme Court's wrath, the Apex Court pulled up the government, reprimanding it over delay in fund allocation as far as Narega goes. Ashmit Kumar now standing by. Ashmit, you know, we do understand that scathing observations were made by the Supreme Court. Uh, what was it that the court was upset about? And I understand the government has to respond as early as tomorrow. So does that mean the government has to promise to release, as, to release funds as early as tomorrow? Well, indeed, some very scathing observations, some urgent answers being sought from the government. But I'll first begin with two important uh, statements, or rather concessions, that the government made. Uh, number one is that the government conceded that they will be, in fact, within the course of next week, dispersing an amount of 8,000 crore rupees. Uh, the interesting caveat here is that the 8,000 crores are in lieu of outstanding dues from the previous fiscal. That's one. The second is that the government, by way of its own admission today before the Apex Court, conceded that even today in this fiscal year, uh, at best, what they're looking at is assuring only 50 days of employment as opposed to the statutory 100 days that are guaranteed, and in cases of doubt, that has been expanded to 150 days. Now, it's on the back of these observations that the Supreme Court came down very hard as far as the, uh, as far as the central government is concerned, and it was primarily issue on the, on the, on the issue of fund disbursement. Uh, Supreme Court referred to the master circular uh, pertaining to the Manrega, and the master circular itself, the uh, Supreme Court pointed out, states uh, that 50% of the allocated Manrega funds need to be dispar uh, dispersed in the month of April itself. And here the Supreme Court, in fact, uh, expressed sorrow as to why the government was still dealing with last year's views as opposed to uh, conforming with the master circular and dispersing 50% of the views. The Supreme Court also observed that this entire program is in the nature of relief, especially in context of about 11 droughts at stake. And the Supreme Court observed that this relief, if delayed, will mean will render the entire program meaningless. Uh, the Supreme Court also, in fact, observed that the government was finding it difficult to, in fact, comply with the, uh, with the laws that itself has drafted, that there appears to be very significant delays, that various states and their requests for additional funds to conform to the Manrega program have, have fallen on deaf ears, that there's been no action in terms of disbursement of funds, that there are technical delays, but that does not justify not conforming to the laws drafted by the center itself. So some very soothing observations, the takeaway now is that the government has less than 24 hours, that is until tomorrow, to file an affidavit and explain the issue of disbursement of funds, funds that have been dispersed, the reasons for delays and why they haven't been dispersed. So some uh, tough questions being asked, the government will have to clarify right. so this is tomorrow when the Supreme Court resumes here. Correct. Okay, so tomorrow is when we're going to hear the government side and it's going to reply to the Supreme Court on why all of these funds have not been dispersed. Thanks, Arashmuth, for joining us with that.